boiling people down to a single word to describe them is a futile exercise. We're all so much deeper than that. But if I had to do it to myself, then I suppose I'd have to go with the one trait that has been following me since I've been able to walk, and that's stubbornness. My name is William, and I am the last subject. There was a experiment. You see, when I was little, I, I wanted to be an artist. I desperately wanted to be an artist, but I came from a poor family, so an education in fine arts was minimal at best for what I could afford. And I was never very talented. Um, everywhere I got was surely by a, a force of, well, determination, I guess. I just wanted it so badly, and I know that achieving anything in life is more than just wanting it. You have to work for it. You have to you have to make sacrifices. You have to give things up to achieve your dreams. That's just the way it is. You can't be a, a ballet dancer and a party girl at the same time. They just don't coexist. And the same is true for me. Then, um, after years and years of trying to get into art school, um, I was approached by uh, someone. They said, would you like to further science along? And I said, sorry, buddy, there's not much I can do to further science. I'm an art student. Um, I don't do beakers and numbers and chemicals, and they said, not like that. We're looking for artists. And out of all the times I had made the attempt, that was the first time someone referred to me as an artist and not just some stubborn wannabe. So I suppose I accidentally let my guard down too much. They led me to a nice dinner where we had a long conversation and the first time I'd eaten anything other than ramen noodles in a while, so um, I probably was a little bit more susceptible to suggestion than I would like to admit at that point. And um, he said that they were looking for artists uh, in an attempt to paint the face of God in layman's terms. They wanted to prove existence by depriving artists of their senses for amounts of time and then hopefully through inspiration alone paint the faces of what they think God would look like. If the experiment was a success, they could, they should be able to see similarities between all the artists. If God exists, then he or she or it could consistently give us the same muse. And between the full belly and the, the amount of money they were talking, I was inclined to try. Besides, if money moves mountains, then it should certainly move a school, right? Compel them to let a 
pouring nobody in. Um, they, they took my things and helped me pack up, and I hopped on the plane. I was a little concerned why we had to have the experiment over international waters, and why I had to be airlifted there instead of letting the boat dock and walk onto it normally. But, hey, uh, what am I to complain? I've never been in a chopper before, let alone one that flew that far. I didn't even know they could fly that far. There was about 20 of us when it started. And the first day was real simple. They stripped us down and put us in these isolation chambers. And it was just darkness. You just laid in the water. You couldn't hear. It was too dark to see. You could barely hear anything. You could barely see anything. You could barely, there was nothing to really smell other than water. And they left us there. I, I don't know how long they left us there, but long enough for us to really get a grasp of what we thought was the purpose. They let us out. We each painted a picture of what we thought God looked like, and, and then they let us go to bed, you know, meal included. Nothing, nothing too harsh, at least not that time. The next day, we expected to go into the isolation chambers, and instead of water, it was white. Everything in the room was white. They changed our outfits to be completely white. We were surrounded by white. No noise, no water, no visual stimulus, just white and I I saw some s stuff it, it didn't it didn't take long um, f before I could hear my heart beat and before I could hear voices and I couldn't tell of what well, I couldn't tell what was my mind and what was real which I guess was the point, but I, I don't know, I, 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 I don't know what it was I was seeing, but it was mostly just gibberish, non-focused thoughts, strange hallucinations from the room, and again, they finally let us out. It's weird, though, the, the people that put us in were not the people that put us out and I don't mean like you know maybe there was a shift change I mean people were different like like real different but they asked the same question they said did you see God and I said I don't know and could you paint God for us and I said I'll try and I painted the picture and None of us got to see each other's paintings, and we were all given a meal. It was a little bit less food than before, and we all went to bed. The beds were different too. They they felt too comfortable. Too. I I ended up not wanting to be on it or having trouble sleeping. I I. I got it. And the, the third day, the third day was back into the isolation chamber, and it was oil, black oil, black viscous horn oil, all black, everything black. We were dressed in black, black gloves, black masks to prevent ourselves from drowning in the oil, just submerged. Only the sound of us breathing. And the pressure 
of the oil against her skin. I... I swear I saw... things that I don't understand. I'm sure they were not angels or demons or... or just, just figments of my imagination, but... they were catered to my every fear catered to my every embarrassing memory and every frightening moment every lurching gut-wrenching painful memory now manifested as its own separate entity there before me to reveal truths about myself that I couldn't bear to stand But I, I had to push on. I had to. I wanted so badly to be an artist. I needed the money, and I was terrified that if I quit, that they would only give me a portion or none of the money at all to achieve what I dreamed. So this is just another sacrifice. Who needs to be completely sane to be a brilliant artist anyway? Right? Right? They pulled us out of the chamber and cleaned us off. The people were even more different. They didn't really look like people. They looked like somebody dressed as people now to me. They said in their chittering voices, Have you yet to see the face of God? And I said, I don't think so. They said, could you try? And I said, yes. And I painted a picture of what I thought God might look like. They sent us back to our rooms. They gave us rotten food. There were no beds, which was good. I no longer wanted one. The next day, the doors opened, and we stepped into the isolation chambers ourselves. There was nothing in there. No longer the oil, no longer the white, no longer the water. Just nothing. I couldn't even feel the floor on my feet. My breath made no sound, neither did my voice. I could yell as much as I wanted, but I couldn't hear it. I waited, just waited, for whatever nightmare was coming. It had to be, had to be there. It was there all the other times, I knew it was, quietly growing in the darkness, unafraid because it's all equally as invisible in the light. I then heard a voice, my voice, but I wasn't talking. And it said, did you really want to see the face of God or did you just want to be an artist? I wanted to say, can't I have both? But nothing came out. The voice said, my voice said, you can only really have one. But in a way, you will have both. So which will it be? because it doesn't matter. Artist or see the face of God. The doors of the isolation chamber opened on their own. I walked back to the cell. 
There was a cell now. I shut the door behind myself and sat on the floor. There was no food. There was no bed. There was only me. Only me. That brings us to today. I've walked in the chamber. I have seen the face of God. I can't paint a picture for you. There is no paint, no brush, no pencil, no ink that would describe what I have seen, and now what I can't stop seeing. People are not people. You are your intentions wearing a fleshy suit, a rotting, decrepit, nonsensical mishmash of limbs and genitalia. I have seen the face of God, and he has no interest in us.